हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सिद्धेश कुमार उठगे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लाइन स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स यूज इन मेजरमेंट लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन students will be able to explain line standards and n standards in measurement the following contents will be discussed in this video lecture line standards n standards comparison between line standards and n standards line standards when the length is measured as the distance between two engraved lines it is called line standard here meter is a line standard the most common example of line measurement is the rule with divisions shown as lines marked on it it's nothing but our ruler characteristics of line standards scales can be accurately engraved but the engraved lines themselves possess thickness and it is not possible to take measurements with high accuracy a scale is a quick and easy to use over a wide range the scale markings are not subjected to wear however the leading ends are subjected to wear and this may lead to undersize measurements a scale does not possess a built-in datum therefore it is not possible to align the scale with the axis of measurement scales are subjected to parallax error now what is parallax error actually parallax error refers to the change in the apparent position of an object when viewed from different points for example the use of mirror behind the readout pointer or indicator virtually eliminates occurrence of parallax error also the assistance of magnifying glass or microscope is required if sufficient accuracy is to be achieved end standards when length is expressed as the distance between two flat parallel faces it is known as end standard example measurement by using slip gauges vernier calipers etc the end faces are hardened left flat and parallel to a very high degree of accuracy characteristics of end standards these standards are highly accurate and used for measurement of close tolerances in precision engineering as well as in standard laboratories tool rooms inspection departments etc they require more time for measurement and measure only one dimension at a time they are subjected to wear on their measuring faces group slips can be rung which means if two slip gauges are forced against each other on measuring faces because of contact pressure gauges stick together and considerable force is required to separate this blocks this is known as ringing of slip gauges that is one gauge is then placed at 90 degree to other by using light pressure and then it is rotated until the blocks are brought in one line 
together to build up a given size faulty ringing and careless use may lead to inaccurate results and standards have a built in datum since their measuring faces are flat and parallel and can be positively locked on datum surface they are not subject to parallax effect and their use depends on feel now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the following question straight true or false measurement by slip gauges is a end standard probably you have wrote answer to the following question comparison between line standards and end standards following parameters are used for comparing line standards and end standards first principle second accuracy third is and time of measurement effect of wear alignment manufacture and cost parallax effect now let us see the difference between them so based on principle in the line standard length is expressed as the distance between two lines whereas in end standard length is expressed as the distance between two flat parallel faces accuracy in line standard limited to plus or minus 0.2 mm for high accuracy scales have to be used in conjunction with magnifying glass or microscope in end standard highly accurate for measurement of close tolerances up to plus or minus 0.001 mm is and time of measurement in line standard measurement is quick and easy but in end standard it requires skill and it is time consuming effect of wear scale markings are not subjected to wear however significant wear may occur on leading ends thus it may be difficult to assume zero of scale as datum but in end standard this are subjected to wear on their metal surfaces alignment cannot be easily aligned with the axis of measurement the end standard can be easily aligned with the axis of measurement manufacture and cost simple to manufacture at low cost whereas end standards manufacturing process is complex and also the cost is high parallax effect line standards are subject to parallax error end standards are not subject to parallax error so the best example for line standard is our scale and end standards is slip gauges one year caliper micrometer this are the following references thank you